Checking in now with meteorologist Andrew Samet with a look at our forecast for today. Andrew, some severe activity happening on later today. What can you tell us? Yeah, Raina, it's already been a stormy start to our day today, but really the main severe weather event comes later this afternoon into the overnight hours. Here's a look at the latest breakdown of the severe weather threats between 2 o'clock this afternoon and 6 o'clock excuse me, in the morning. Damaging wind gusts over 70 miles per hour is going to be the primary severe weather concern, followed by large hail up to two inches in diameter, which is the size of a hen egg or twice the size of a quarter. Tornadoes also a possibility. It's one of our higher tornado threats that we've seen in the last few severe weather events, but still it is the third threat that we are expecting uh, today. And then flash flooding also is a threat, but it's it, the lowest threat for us still at a medium. Here's what Futurecast has going through the rest of the day. The batch of showers and storms that is currently moving through East Texas will exit between 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning. We'll get a little bit of a break in the action, maybe even some sunshine as well. But as we head towards your 2 o'clock hour, that's when we are going to see the storms increase again in our northwesternmost areas from uh, DFW to Sulphur Springs. And then as we continue through the evening, we'll see the storm threat really start to ramp up across the area. Isolated activity ahead of the main batch of storms will be capable of large hail and potentially tornadoes as well if the low level winds cooperate by 9 o'clock in the evening. We're seeing uh, more coverage of those showers and thunderstorms out ahead of the main line of thunderstorms. Uh, so it's going to start to get a little bit more crowded out there, which could eliminate severe weather threat with that activity. However, eventually the line of thunderstorms will catch up to all those isolated cells and we'll get a uh, pretty uh, strong squall line moving across the area during the overnight hours into early Thursday morning. Here's 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, still some intense winds possible down into deep east Texas along the leading edge of this line of showers and thunderstorms. Behind it, the rain continues for most of the area, and that will be the case through Thursday morning with some showers left over by 7 o'clock, maybe a few thunderstorms as well. But by that point, the severe weather threat will be over. Our forecast for our day today, again, between 9 and 10, this first round of storms will be ending for us, and then we'll get a little bit of a break during the the middle part of the day. By 3 p.m. though, the storms will redevelop across the area and we'll start to see that severe weather threat ramp up through the evening and the overnight hours. Your seven day forecast looks like this. It's important to have multiple ways of receiving weather alerts. Scan that QR code at the top right of your sc screen to get access to the East Texas Storm Team app. Get those alerts directly to your phone. Have your phone volume on tonight so you can hear those alerts as well. A good backup or uh, main way is the no weather radio that can definitely wake you up in the middle of the night. We'll see some showers left over into Thursday, dry for Friday, and then more showers on Saturday for deep east Texas. Severe weather increases late uh, this evening into the overnight hours, and some showers linger on into early Thursday, and then we'll be dry and warmer for the day on Friday. And for your latest weather forecast, you can head on over to 